Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Uh, this next couple of videos are going to be all about sounds that you can make with cymbals and I'm going to break them down into one or two sounds per video. That way you're not scrolling through a big long video to find the sound that you're looking to improve upon and it just makes it a little bit easier to break them down for me. Um, so the first ones I'm going to go over are going to be clamps and smashes. Clamp, uh, you're going to have your cymbals into your body right here. The pinch point is going to be right about at your belly button. It's kind of like a lowered second position that you're holding into your body right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift up from your cymbal and press down. Uh, key things to note right here is that your cymbals are going to have about a finger length of space right there when they come down. And you want to keep that connection point on your stomach. Uh, one, because that's going to give you a better sound. And two, because others are going to have big marks on your stomach where you pinched yourself. So a uh, standard clamp is going to sound like this. Um, the reason that we're keeping the cymbal um, spread out a little bit is because we don't want air pockets in our sound. Uh, if you play too many um, clamps in a row that do have the cymbals exactly one over the other, it's going to make air pockets come out and it's just not as crisp of a sound. Uh, secondly are smashes. Smashes are a very similar sound. We're going to do those in our uh, stock first and second positions. Uh, similar idea to the clamp. I um, want to often set my cymbals slightly on the path down and uh, what I'm focusing on is pressing together my fingertips and the palms of my hands. So that's a pretty stock sounding smash. You can kind of modify it to be quieter um, a little, and that was a little bit wetter or louder by prepping a little bit. Uh, the tendency we want to watch out for right now is that not to over prep. That's the tendency of a lot of new players is we want to get uh, nice and wide and then play it and then that causes that very loud aggressive sound but it's not very clear where that beats happening it's really hard to keep that in time so be careful of that uh, lastly are the first position clamps uh, or smashes same idea offset your cymbal slightly focusing on pressing your palms together very aggressively to get that nice crisp sound 